What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm in a new environment. Anyway, today I want to talk about something that um, I had a revelation maybe this year um, while reading the Bible. And a lot of people have a misunderstanding when they're... Um, they're re when when they when a lot of times we have a misunderstanding of god's word when we read one verse uh, we always get caught in just what that verse means um but the by the meaning of that verse could be as a result of the ver verse before it or after so you always want to read the entire chapter and see what the chapter is talking about and then define the meaning of that verse okay and 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 trying to and understand and understand what God is trying to say so how to resist the devil I'm going to be I'm going to read from James 4 uh, verse 7 is the one that explains how to resist the devil but leading up to verse 7 there's a lot of other verses that that are uh, talk about drawing near close to God and then that verse says explains how to resist the devil um, James 4 uh, verse 1 it starts like this what is causing the quarrel, quarrels and fights among you don't they come from the evil desires uh, at war within you meaning the evil desires that are, are inside our flesh you want what you don't have so you scheme and kill to get it mm, you're jealous what others have but you can't get it so you fight and wage war to take it away from them I deal with people like that every day um, yet you don't have what you want because you don't ask God for it and when you ask you don't get it because your motives are all wrong and you want only what will give you pleasure okay now verse 4 you adulterers don't you realize that friendship with the world makes you an enemy of God I say it again if you want to be a friend if you want to be a friend of the world you make yourself an enemy of God okay do you think the scriptures have no meaning they say what God is passionate that the spirit he has placed within us should be faithful to him and he gives grace generously as the scriptures say God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble now verse 7 so humble there's another uh, this is the living translation there's other translations that say uh, submit or humble but I think it has the same meaning humbling submitting basically means the same thing coming into someone in says someone else's submission in this case God so verse 7 says James 4 7 so humble yourself before God humble resist the devil and he will flee from you okay so when two things are going to happen when we submit or humble ourselves before God um, not just two things a lot of things are going to happen but the fight in this world is against the devil okay um, it's not against others it's against the devil but the fight is already been have been have has already been won we just have to believe it but we cannot enjoy that victory until we have submitted ourselves unto God and walk and do things according to this word okay to his word so when we humble ourselves unto God and, and then the second part of verse 7 says resist the devil resisting something or someone is for example picture uh, someone being arrested uh, and and they're resisting their hands are cuffed and they don't want to be you know they don't want to get uh, they don't want to go to jail they they don't they don't want their hands cuffed so they're pushing they're they're doing all this physical motion you know I don't want to go they're pushing the police they're fighting them against and they're fighting against what's being uh, done to them um, so resisting is kind of it's kind of it's, it's another way of saying fight back you know fight back the devil fight him okay and, and he will flee from you okay 
picture someone fleeing from you something fleeing from you or you fleeing from someone fleeing means running fast as you can okay running as fast as you can when we fight the devil back when we resist him fight him back those two words have the same meaning um, he will flee from us but it cannot happen within our own strength within our own knowledge it, it only happens when we humble ourselves uh, uh, unto God when we we humble and submit ourselves unto God that's the only time that's the only way that we're going to resist it and fight back the devil not on our own strength because you think oh oh I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to look at that woman or that man you know I'm I'm strong enough I'm just going to go to the I'm going to go to disco tonight or dance or um I'm not going to do that. I know myself. No, you don't know yourself. You don't. You only know yourself um, through God, okay? You know yourself when you fail. <laughs> that's what, That's how you know yourself. When you fail, you know yourself. And you'll be like, oh, okay. Like, you know, like your favorite, let's say you're on a diet and then the favorite thing is in front of you. Are you going to resist it? you're going to fight it or you're going to just eventually uh, the longer you look at it uh, the, the longer your desire is going to be uh, the faster you're going to go and grab it and eat it you know and that's that goes the same with anything else in our lives uh, the more we entertain something that we shouldn't uh, eventually we're going to give in and do it uh, and go or go after it but if we have submitted ourselves unto God um, and humble yourself unto God and, um, we are capable to fight back and resist the devil and he will flee from us okay and verse 8 says come close to God and God will come close to you so there's another passage almost the same as James 4 7 uh, and, and you can find it on 1st Peter 5 uh, through 8 okay um, number uh, verse 1 starts uh, it's a uh, device for elders and young men uh, and, and um, we're gonna read from verse 5 in the same way you who are younger must accept the authority of the elders and all of you dress yourself yourselves in humility as you relate to one another for for God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble okay same as in uh, James in the book of James Num uh, verse 6 so humble or submit yourselves under the mighty power of God and at the right time he will lift you up in honor give all your worries and cares to God for he cares about you and now verse 8 same as James 4 7 stay alert watch out for your great enemy the devil he prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour stand firm against him it's another way of saying fight back resist him resist the devil and he and be strong in your faith remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering you are again James 4 7 or 1st Peter 5 8 it, it tells us to humble ourselves under the mighty power of God okay and we need to stand and then second part of verse 8 says stand firm against him the devil who, who comes looking for someone to devour and be strong in your faith you and I can come against the devil all we all we want all day long all day all night long claiming and and telling the devil to flee in Jesus name if we're not submitted if we're not if we have not submitted ourselves under God it's not going to work okay we don't have power alone we have power through Christ okay we have power through God okay things like this cannot be done on our own you cannot flee the devil on your own you cannot anything that the devil throws at us any circumstance where we're going to fail temptations evil thoughts uh, bad words any any attack that the devil sends our ways we can only uh, fight it back 
by submitting ourselves unto God, humbling ourselves unto the mighty power of God, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this short video and that you're going to subscribe and give it a like and uh, I will see you on my next video. Be blessed. Bye.